The British military is ramping up efforts to have all the bells and whistles to compete against the world's best armies. The latest investment is a military laser called the Dragonfire Weapon, which will be used to shoot down Russian drones in Ukraine. Joining me now to discuss this is former British Colonel Hamish Breton Gordon. Hamish, can you explain in layman's terms what this dragon fire weapon is and how crucial it is for Ukraine? Well, firstly, the dragon fire weapon, I think, is a huge step forward. Um, in effect, it is a laser that shoots down drones. Um, and it's it one very often talks about, you know, game-changing capabilities, but but this appears to be so. The challenge that we have in Ukraine is there are thousands and thousands of drones around uh, really conducting the, the, the majority of this warfare. And the challenge for the Ukrainians is to shoot down more drones than the Russians can get over them. Uh, the particular issue at the, today is that a lot of the weapons that we use to shoot down drones are very expensive. Um, you know, the very cheapest missile to shoot down a drone, you know, it's probably in the hundreds of thousands of pounds bracket to shoot down drones that are, you know, cost $500, as it were. Uh, and some of the bigger missiles are in the millions. So the challenge has been is that, um, you know, we the Ukrainians are running out of these missiles. So when we look at something like the Dragonfire, which is this directed energy laser weapon, which sort of fries the electrics of drones, uh, from what we understand, they cost about £10 a shot, you know, $12 a shot, as it were. You can reload them almost instantaneously, and they are not only accurate and effective against these tiny $500 drones, but also the much bigger ones. In my own experience with drones, uh, when I fought with the Peshmerga in the fight with Islamic State in sort of 2015 to 2017, we just had um, small arms fire, machine gun fire to shoot down drones, and it was pretty ineffective and thousands of rounds. But now you have this laser which can do the job of a very expensive missiles. This could really be a game changer. And I applaud Grant Shapps, the Defence Secretary, saying we need to get this in the front line as soon as possible and potentially get it out to Ukraine as soon as possible as well. Mm. How reliant, Hamish, is Russia on using drones over Ukraine's airspace? Oh, hugely reliant. Um, we, we see it almost every day, the amount of drones, attack drones and drones with bombs that are flying into Ukraine. They've pretty much decimated the... Um, the power system at the moment, uh, they they prefer to use drones rather than fighter aircraft because, um, you know, fighter aircraft are very expensive and they're losing an awful lot of them. So this this war in Ukraine is, is, is very much a drone war. And the person who manages to get the most advantage with their drones is the one that's going to prevail. So, yeah, this is this is really new type of warfare that... Um, we haven't seen on this scale before. So to come up with something like Dragonfire really should make a difference. Um, of course, no doubt the Russians are working on something similar as well. But um, it would appear that at the moment, you know, we, we have the march on it. Um, we have something that can make a huge difference. And, and let's hope that we can get it to Ukraine before it's too late. Just finally, Hamish, as you said before, this laser is, was set to be rolled out in 2032. It's now going to be ready for action in 2027. What do you think this says about, you know, the state of the conflict between Russia and Ukraine that the British Army was so keen to get this out years earlier? Well, I think you, the, war, the war in Ukraine has an absolutely direct impact on us here in the UK. You know, if Ukraine doesn't prevail, um, then... We, we are going to be at war with the Russians. Nobody expects Putin to stop in Ukraine. So it is essential that we do absolutely all that we can to enable Ukraine to hold the Russians and push them back whence they came. So a technology like Dragonfire, which could make a significant difference, of course, it, you know, we want to get it out to Ukraine as soon as we can. It's, it's no good sat in a, in a bench in, in Portland Down Science Laboratory. It needs to be out in the field knocking those Russian drones down as quickly as possible. Mm. Hey, Mr. Breton Gordon, thank you so much for your time today. Pleasure.